So in the last video, I tried something new where I worked this problem and then switched over to the notes and then there was no sound and I was mad. Anyway, uh, we're going to do this again. Uh, and this time, you're on your own. Just look it up in the notes. There's a breeder's equation section. It'll be there. It'll be okay. All right, so we're going to come over here and... Uh, uh, this is going to be weird because I literally just did a video where I worked this problem and now I'm doing it again so it's going to seem strange to me but not to you because I will never post that video that I screwed up. Anyway, uh, this is an application of the breeder's equation. So this is the very tail end of quantitative genetics. It's kind of bleeding into evolutionary genetics. The basic idea is we're going to do selective breeding to improve a particular trait that we're interested in. And in this case, we've got a sorceress named Sioni who's trying to breed an army of trolls. Uh, and she wants to make them more massive. They want to be bigger, have a higher body size. All right. So th this can be super, super intuitive, although this this problem is easier than, than some others. The idea is I want to breed bigger trolls, so I only want the biggest ones to mate and have the babies for the next generation. These uh, questions are almost always pertaining to the means of a particular trait. So what we've got here is uh, me Sioni measuring the mass of each troll in her army, and then she calculates the mean and the variance of the population. So the mean is 400 kilograms and the variance is 96. And then she decides, well, I want trolls to be much bigger in the next generation, so I'll only let the biggest trolls breed. If I calculate the average mass of the breeder trolls, that's 600 kilograms with a variance of 45. In these kinds of questions, the variance is there is mostly a red herring. All right, You don't need uh, that information for this type of question. So the first thing I ask you to calculate here is the selection differential. The selection differential is nothing more than the difference between the mean of the breeders and the mean of the whole population. So the selection differential, this will be the easiest four points you ever got in your life. 600 kilograms minus 400 kilograms equals 200 kilograms. Done. Four points. Okay. We're going to end up using this later on. All right, moving on to part B. Two years later, Sioni measures the mass of the next generation of trolls, and the average troll in this generation is 460 kilograms with a variance of 65. What is the response to selection? So in this case, uh, again, in this type of question, we're comparing differences of means. So generation 2 was 460, generation 1 was 400. That is the relevant comparison for response to selection. 460 minus 400. So we get a response to selection or a change in the population mean of 60 kilograms. Great. Three points. Easy. What is the heritability for body mass in this troll army? Here is where we apply the breeder's equation. And in this case, we're using this breeder's equation to calculate an estimate of heritability. R equals H squared S. This will be on your formula sheet. Um, in fact, I can probably just... I'm not sure if I've got the formula sheet on this. I don't have it on this document. So, uh, But it's a simple enough and important enough formula that really you should be able to remember it. Recall that this is going to be a version of narrow sense heritability, but we'll deal with that in a separate video. All right. So R equals H squared S, if we plug our estimates of the R and S into this formula, so there's R, 60 equals heritability, and then there's S times 200. So the way I learned algebra, Zero point three. Don't need a calculator for that one, but do bring it to the exam. Sometimes these problems don't work out in terms of whole numbers. So our heritability is 0.3. That means roughly 30% of the phenotypic variance in that population of trolls can be attributed to genetic variance, and more specifically, additive genetic variance. 
Okay, so there's heritability. After several more generations, Sioni observes that the average mass of a troll army has maxed out at 610 kilograms. Give two reasons why this might be happening. Now this is based on the slide in the notes pertaining to Drosophila bristle number. So this is not part of the answer, it's just me orienting you to the notes. This is Drosophila bristle number and this is generations and it uh, shows sort of a cartoon version of data from a selection experiment. Here's the control line, not very many bristles over generations. But if we select for lots of bristles it looks like this and then it does this. And then I think I circled this in red. And we were like, what? Why aren't we making them more hairy? There were two answers. The first is that genetic variation is exhausted. Not in the physiological sense, but in the sense that all of the alleles for high body size in trolls are fixed there's no more genetic variation. There's no way genetically to make them more massive. Same thing with Drosophila here. The other possible explanation is that natural selection opposes further change in the trait. Now, a lot of students will, will uh, write something like, the trolls are so big they can't breed anymore, or something like that. That's actually kind of a mechanistic reason that is related to this broader concept. It's important that you articulate this broader concept, that natural selection opposes further change. Because it could be they can't breed anymore, but it also could be they're so fat that they die before they're allowed to breed. And that's not the same thing. So that's another way that natural selection could oppose further change. So, genetic variation is exhausted, natural selection opposes further change, easy. Lastly, we have a question here that pertains to the limitations of heritability estimates. So in this case, the sorceress wants to expand air superiority, so she wants to breed an army of wyverns to be bigger. So the question is, can she use her previous data, especially specifically her estimate of heritability, to accurately predict the response to selection she will observe? And the answer is no, because heritability is an estimate that's specific to one population and one environment. I mean, these wyverns are different species, let alone a different population. And so there's no reason to assume that the heritability for body size variation in wyverns is 0.3 like it is in her population of trolls. Okay? This is an applied version of limitations of heritability, but there are other limitations of heritability that are in your notes that are dealt with in other sections of, uh, of the exam, and it's important that you remember those. Also, don't forget, uh, you should know what heritability is in terms of its definition. Okay, well I hope that helps and if you have any more um, uh, suggestions for the kinds of videos that would be helpful for you to learn and assimilate this material, just let me know and I'll get to work on them. Okay, I'll see you next time. Drifting over here to turn it off now.